this scandal um, that has surfaced regarding Lev Durbin. Um, <laughs> I mean, there's a lot. There's Danny Mason, there's a lot. But in, in, in relation to the particular scandal that has surfaced, I would want to say that your duty as the Prime Minister and Head of State is to contact the Chargé Affairs of the U.S. Embassy. I think you need to contact him. I think you need to contact the State Department because as you and I know in a criminal trial, which is the case that uh, Mr. Durbin is going through in the U U.S., there is a disclosure. And so the names have already been called, whether it is that it's sealed in some um, affidavit, what have you, the names are already out there. And so the Prime Minister owes a duty to this nation. Let's not wait for the trial to happen because the names are out there. So we need to, at least, Prime Minister, employ your best effort to get that information. If I could call, I would have called, but they're not giving me that information. But as the Prime Minister and a serious situation like this, I'm sure that they would give you that information. And also, Mr. Prime Minister, your duty to preserve the sanctity and integrity of the office of Prime Minister. Again, it is something very important and it's not something that we should take lightly, that we just hand it over to any of these two individuals because I believe that that would be a massive mistake. And then, on a final note, in terms of your duty that I see, Mr. Prime Minister, and if I may just share a running joke in Caribbean shores because I was campaigning last night, and they said, yeah, half a start, because they think it will be any minute now. <laughs> when I was campaigning, uh, one, of the, one of my constituents said that he got intelligence from inside the cabinet room when you were going around and asking each and every one of the cabinet members, did you receive 25,000 US from Lev Durbin? And each of them said no, as you said. But one of the ministers turned to another and said, family, but the public, they kind of said that you are the one we get it, you know, how you just tell the man no. He responded, the minister responded and said, I know they lie, you know. I said no because I did not get 25,000 US. I get 27,000 US. <laughs> It's just, it's just to say, Mr. Prime Minister, that there's been a lot of play with technicalities, so we have to be very clear when we come to the Belizean people. We have to be very clear with the line of questioning because some of the guys are bush liar. So you have to ask them point blank, you get any money for this man? So you can't just put it 25,000 US, they might say, well, I get conversion rate, I get 24,800.